do you do what you do? Why do you wake up in the morning? Why do you stay late at the office? Why do you do what you do on a daily basis? I'm not telling you to overwork yourself and get stressed out, but I am telling you this, that when you wake up in the morning, the one thing that you control is that nobody's gonna outwork you. Fear stands for false evidence appearing real. And that's why so many people don't experience their breakthrough because they let fear cripple their ability to move forward. And when you feel the fear and put the right foot in front of the left, little by little, you start to gain big momentum. Your biggest breakthrough, that's gonna transform not only your personal life, but also your business, your professional life, is often beyond your biggest failure. Matt Mayberry is one of the nation's most sought after performance experts and keynote speakers. Matt Mayberry inspires audiences of all ages and can take your organization to the next level. Matt Mayberry is a former NFL player with the Chicago Bears. He joins us from Chicago tonight. Suffered a broken ankle in the preseason, career over, but then he became a successful motivational speaker. Football is what you do, it's not who you are. And because of those words, my life was never the same again. As an accomplished author and writer, Matt Mayberry's articles have been featured in some of the nation's top business publications. The individuals that do great things, that leave legacies, that change lives, they know their why. They know why they do what they do. And when you know that why, no setback, no failure, no hardship is gonna stop you from becoming the best version of yourself and building something remarkable. If you wanna take this organization to the next level, the first thing you have to do is expand your vision as to what's possible. And it starts with expanding your vision. Everything great in history, ladies and gentlemen, has been built by men and women who believe that the future can be bigger than the past. Association is everything. I'm absolutely obsessed with hanging around with people that have a higher net worth than me, that run more successful businesses than me, that have bigger goals and dreams than me, that expand their visions more than me. What does that help me do? It helps me to expand my own vision and get better and grow. If you turn on CNN and CNBC and all the news outlets, they'll tell you that this is the worst time to be alive. I beg to differ. I think this is one of the most phenomenal times to be alive. There's more opportunities for more organizations, business owners, entrepreneurs like you in this room. And if you get away from the negative news, the negative energy drainers, you'll start to get closer and closer to that breakthrough. A lot of people, majority of the population likes to play what I call the blame game. Blame the government, blame taxes, blame my spouse, blame my kids, blame my circumstances, blame my coworkers, blame my boss. They make a laundry list of excuses and they point the blame at other people instead of looking in the mirror and owning where they are. And most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, most importantly, owning the effect and ability that they have the decision right now to change their life drastically by just looking in the mirror and saying, I had enough. You can raise the bar in your own life because as your leader, Pat, mentioned right before I came up, if this organization is gonna raise the bar and take it to new heights, then you as an individual, as an employee, has to raise the bar and take it to the next level. That's the only way an organization become the best version of itself. If the people within the organization become the best version of themselves, don't compete, dominate. That's where greatness is built. And it doesn't just mean dominating at your work. It means dominating being the best mother or father you could be. It means dominating being the best leader you could be. Every single day, total domination. Set a stopwatch for three minutes. And after you set the stopwatch for three minutes, I want you to write down eight to 10 goals that you want to achieve by this time next year. The next part of the process is an absolute game changer. It's looking on that list and answering this one question, this very important question. Which goal on this list will radically transform my life? Because when you achieve this goal, it acts as a domino effect for every other goal on that list. You'll start to notice without even paying any attention to it and energy that when once you achieve that game-changing goal, you'll start to achieve every other goal that's on that list. 
the same characteristics that it takes to play in the NFL, it's the same that it takes to thrive and win in business. Number one, be the hardest worker in the room. Number two, prepare like a champion. Number three, teamwork makes the dream work. And those are just three transformational leadership qualities. And as I said before, you don't have to be the boss. You don't have to be the manager to adopt those values and characteristics that can radically push forward your professional career. He just did a tremendous job for us, uh, just intertwining our message with his story, his personal story of growth and success. Now is your time. Not next, next week, next month, next year. Now is your time. There's an unlimited amount of potential in you waiting to be unleashed into the world. And now is your time to live passionately, to live fully, to love deeply, and most importantly, become the best version of yourself and make a difference.